Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Learn Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Yelp interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the review text that received the highest number of cool votes, output the business name along with the review text with the highest number of cool votes. So we are given a data frame called Yelp reviews and our expected output is also a pandas data frame. Let's see how the expected output looks like. So you have different business names and the review text. So basically the review text which received the maximum number of cool votes. So let's go and preview this data frame, right? So you have different column, business name, review IDs, user IDs, right? Stats, date, text, funny, useful, cool, right? So basically we need to return the business name as well as the review text, right? And whichever the combination of business name and review text received the maximum number of cool votes. So that is what we need to output, right? So if you look at it, what we can do is we can take this data frame Yelp reviews and then group by the business name and review text and try to find out the sum of the cool columns and store that in a data frame. And then from that data frame, we can use Boolean indexing, right? And see that, okay, wherever your DF of sum of the cool values is equal to the maximum part, you just keep the business name and the review text columns, right? So what I'm saying is from this data frame called Yelp reviews, we can go ahead and do group by, right? Group by firstly, the business name, because we need the combination of business name and review text in the output, right? Business name and then review text, right? Review text. And what would we need to calculate is we need to calculate the sum of the cool column, right? So we write from the cool column, right? Calculate the sum. Okay. So right now these two columns will be an index, right? To get them as columns, we need to write reset index. Okay. So let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So we have different business names and review text, and these are the sum of the cool values but we are only interested in the maximum one, right? So what we can do is we can sort values, right? This is not required for the final code, but let's see like which all combinations of business name and review text got the maximum cool votes, right? So sort values by cool, right? So here you can basically, you know, rename this column because actually you calculated the sum, right? So this should be the sum of cool values. It is not just cool, but since we didn't rename it, so it is, you know, showing us as cool. So by the sum of the cool, right? Cool column and then ascending is equal to false, right? Let me run this. Let's see. Okay, so basically, if you look at it, the different business name and the review text, which go all maximum 10 cool votes, right? So there are two. So we need to return both of them. So what we can do is we can store this in a data frame called DF. And from this, we can use Boolean indexing. So basically provide a filter, right? So DF of the cool column is basically equal, equal to DF of the cool column dot max. So basically it will, what it will do. So it will have a Boolean values of true false values. And since it is passed as a filter to the data frame DF, right? So it will only return those rows where the Boolean values were true, right? So if I run this, like, so we get only two of these, right? But in the output, we don't need this column, right? So we only need this one. So we basically provide a list of columns. Right. So if I just, you know, copy this here, right, uh, we can get that entire thing. So copy and right. So if I paste it here, let's run this. So we have the business name and the review text. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it this in Python, right? Now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. Okay. So same question, expected output is same as well. Uh, if we look at the table Yelp reviews, it is also the same, right? All the same columns. We need to do the same thing. So from, from this table called Yelp reviews, 
right firstly we need to do a group by right so group by the columns business right business name and then by review text right and then we need to return those two columns right so business name as well as the review text and we need to also calculate the sum of the cool columns and let's alias this as total cool votes right we can rename it to anything that does not matter uh okay and let's order this so that the maximum total cool votes come in first so order by total cool votes in decreasing manner right so if i run this let's see what we are getting okay so the maximum cool votes we have are for roca core and lunardis and these are the re review text right so then again we can do the same thing right we can store this in a common table expression so with cte as and this entire thing goes into parenthesis right and from this common table expression right we can basically keep only those rows where the total cool votes right total cool votes is equal to the maximum right so we write return max of total cool votes from this common table expression right so only keep those rows and in those cases you just return the two columns right so if i just copy this here paste it here right now let me run this right okay so if you look at it the business name and uh review text so we have the output exactly as the expected one right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, everything is green and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was firstly you know for each business name and review text we found out what is the total cool votes that was given right and then once we had that then all we did was kept only those rows where the total cool votes was equal to the maximum part and we just re returned the two columns that were required for us so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video